Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear in the commercial kitchen and today we're doing a little bit of a different review. I have with me the Linea Mini and we're going to be talking about the Linea Mini as a commercial machine and focusing a little bit more on some of the aspects you might think about uh, with this machine in a commercial setting rather than in your home. Um, this was launched a couple years ago um, and this machine is actually going to be headed to one of our retail stores as a demo machine. Um, so if you're in the area stop by and check it out. This is a pretty compact machine. It's designed to fit uh, under a counter or under a cabinet um, and then it's also designed to be pretty shallow, pretty narrow. This has the custom wood kit on it, also in white. Um, so it's a little bit different than just your standard one, but features wise it's going to be all the same. Uh, this is a dual boiler machine. You have a smaller boiler for the brew and then a larger boiler for steam. Um, this is a 110 volt machine. It also just runs on regular 15 amp, which is one of the reasons that people like it for um, small commercial settings, especially for pop-ups and stuff like that. Uh, right now we have this running on the reservoir, which is right down here. Um, it's a decent sized reservoir, but it's still pretty small. Um, as you can see, it ends uh, just right back here. So not massive, does fill pretty easily. Which is taking that off. You can also run this plumbed in. So I know some folks will just run it on the tank and call that good. Um, some people hook it up to a flow jet if they're on a cart. Um, then they have five gallons worth of water instead of just a little bit of water there. You can also plumb in the drip tray, which would be nice because then you're not emptying it every couple drinks. Um, this steam wand does have the rubber grip on it because it's not insulated, so make sure you're keeping an eye out on that. And then this is just your hot water off the steam boiler, so it is hot, hot water, so just be careful about that. Um, it has the brew lever, which activates um, your brewing. It's just like an on off switch. There is like a slight ramp up before the pump kicks in fully. Um, so kind of a little bit of pre-infusion, but uh, not anything adjustable or controllable. And yeah, like I said, this is just an on off on off um, machine. And then on the side over here is your temperature adjustment wheel for the PID on this machine. One thing I did want to mention, when you turn the brew paddle past right there, the barista lights do kick on so you can get an idea of your extraction that's happening there as well. Uh, right here we have just the two indicator lights on this, this machine and um, that's the only real indicators aside from the gauges. Um, the power light and then the water light here. When the power light is solid, it's up at temperature. When this is solid, it means that you have enough water in it. If this starts flashing, the red light starts flashing, it means that it's not up to temperature. And if the blue light is flashing, that means you need to add more water. So pretty simple. Um, that's one of the reasons this machine is so loved. Why don't we talk about making drinks on this machine and things you might run into in a commercial environment. So one of the things that people have complained about is that the steam wand is on the right hand side, but in reality, you, because it's not insulated, you don't want to be, uh, you don't want this over here because if you take the portafilter out, you're going to smack your hand into a hot steam wand and burn yourself. That being said, it is a home machine, so it is pretty tight here with the space you have to work. Um, there's no, not going to be any like queuing of drinks, getting drinks ready in a line or setting them up here because there's just not that much space. Um, it does feel nice and solid to work on, and the temperature is pretty consistent and stable as well. So that's a, definitely a nice benefit. And then the really nice breakaway spout portafilter, filter and then also um, this comes with a couple different basket options. We have the 17 gram basket in it right now, um, and just really nice etched portafilters with the little La Marzocco name on it. So really great accessories. Again, it's meant to be like a high-end home machine. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to use this commercially, um, that it is designed for a home. 
can make a lot of shots. It's a one group, so it's going to make shots pretty much as fast as you can get it to. And how about an odd grinder pairing? We have the KRE from Eureka. Um, that's their massive conical burr grinder and just a little linear mini. Um, I was dosing at about 18 grams earlier, so I'm just going to get down to that. Perfect. Get distributed and settled. And oftentimes when people are thinking about a machine to use in a pop-up setting, that's a one group. Usually it's a machine like this or a one group commercial heat exchanger machine. So this machine is gonna brew more consistent espresso because it has that consistent temperature instead of trying to um, utilize the heat exchanger for that temperature. I'm gonna grab a cup. So that's one of the main draws of this machine. But usually when somebody's looking at this, um, the real question is whether or not the smaller working space um, and then no volumetrics is worth that benefit that you get from better temperature stability. And this might be controversial, but I do think that a good barista working on this machine versus a commercial heat exchanger, all other variables being consistent, could pull the same shot on this machine and a heat exchanger. That's probably controversial, and you guys are going to comment on that down below, but my personal experience there. So that does look very pretty. It's the classic um, La Marzocco Porta filters, which just look pretty nice. Um, that was about 38 grams out using the Bonsai blend from Veltins. It's one of my favorite espresso blends that we carry. Turn that and flush it. And that was um, kind of like a mid 30 second shot. So I'll go ahead and taste it here. And according to the temperature wheel, um, we're at 199, just a little bit under 200. This is going to keep beeping, so I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, nice and smooth. Um, really creamy, but still has like that citrus chocolate note to it. One of the reasons I like this blend so much um, is because it's citrusy, but without being too harsh or too acidic. So it's really balanced. Um, this machine pulls that out perfectly. And um, if I wanted to increase the temperature, I could do that really easily and have that stay consistent. Um, now let's go ahead and make a milk-based drink uh, so we can talk about the steaming um, and brewing at the same time and get a look at that. We are ready to go. I have my espresso dosed in my porter filter here. It's actually a pretty even tamp. I'm happy with that. Um, let's put it in the machine and get to brewing. I'm using that 18 gram dose again. For those of you who have stuck around in the video this far. It does steam just like its bigger brothers do because it has a very similar, if not the same, steam tip as the full-size machines do. So anybody who's ever worked on one of the full-size La Marzocco's before will find this very similar. Shut that off. It's a big shot, so here we go. My first time using this pitcher. There's that. I'm going to take care of this before I do that.
Yep, and that's what I wanted. Nice and creamy, um, good milk texture and consistency, which is always pretty easy to get with the La Marzocco steam tips. Um, had a little bit of extra milk at the end there, so that made it a little bit more difficult to give it a nice pour. Um, this is actually the pitcher that comes with this machine. Um, it's pretty nice. It has like the logo on it. Um, material is a little bit thinner than I prefer. I like a slightly thicker metal to it. Um, just personal preference there. Um, but overall, this is a pretty good shot for a commercial um, machine or a small commercial mach machine for a bar, a restaurant, or a mobile application. Um, you can do pretty much as many shots as you can pull uh, because you're taking that portafilter out, wiping it out, dosing coffee, tamping, coming back to the machine. So as fast as you can do that, this machine is going to do a pretty good job of keeping up. Um, if you're doing a lot of milk-based drinks, you might want to think about limiting the size of your drinks. So not doing like 20 ounce drinks um, or maybe even like a 16 ounce drink. That might be a bit if you're doing that back to back to back to back on this machine. But the steam does keep up pretty good um, because that brew boiler is smaller. It can dedicate, dedicate more heat to the steam boiler. Overall, really tasty espresso off this machine. Good steaming capabilities. It does have an NSF certification, so it'll make your health department happy um, and is designed for some light commercial use. So you could do a whole lot worse by getting a, a different machine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments on the video, make sure to leave those down below. We'll do our best to get back to you there. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, subscri subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll know when we release new videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you've ever thought about opening up a coffee shop or a coffee stand or need an espresso machine, give us a call. We'd love to talk with you. Thanks, guys.